Good morning. It's a bit nippy. I have uh, been roped into uh, doing a bit of painting on the side of this bungalow. And uh, here's a problem. The guttering has uh, been replaced and we have painted. But we couldn't get in underneath the blooming pipes. It's down pipes. So how do you do it? How do you paint in behind the down pipes without splashing them and without um, having to go and clean them after you've painted? Well, you get a, a bit of a, a, a cereal packet and you, you, you cut it to size, or you rip it to size and you put a, a not a stretchy strap, one of these cable ties and you do it tight so that you can get in underneath the uh, the paintwork or to get at the paintwork and then as you uh, paint you shift it up of course you've got the problem with these blooming things here so you have to break your cable tie and redo it to get up round the top so that's what I'm going to try and do now save myself a bit of time and a lot of house fitteriness uh, we've unfortunately splashed that quite a bit whenever, well it comes off reasonably easy but there's a wee handy hint for you if you don't want to have to um, spend time trying to clean up your uh, your, your pipes after you've uh, done a bit of painting in underneath them back and I'm back with you once again. Uh, the cable tie idea wasn't going to work because you're going to break so many cable ties and moving this uh, piece of uh, cardboard up the pipe. I'm going to have to clean that pipe anyway, but it's, it's going to stop it getting really uh, splattered with white paint. So I found an old bit of electric cable and um, it's that electric cable that's um, sort of stays in position so uh, I think it'll do a better job just tie it and untie it right to get to the top now, I'm no expert painter but another wee trick is to put a bit of cardboard tight up against the wall that you want to uh, paint so that paint doesn't splatter all over the pavings slabs this paint actually can be washed off but you don't want to make a mess unnecessary mess and give work for yourself now i'm going to paint these recesses here um and i don't want paint getting over the the door frame <clears throat> so uh masking tape is is the painter's friend so mask everything it takes time but it stops the whole thing looking dreadful because you've splattered paint. And um, we've got a letterbox here. There's, I haven't got a key to open it. And I've masked it as well. So I've got to get close into the, the, the letterbox. I might even mask up around the Well, this is how this pipe turned out after I, I used that wee technique to paint it. And it has got a bit of splattering, but I, the splattering actually resulted from uh, the rollering that I did before. So it did sort of save it a bit. A few drips here and there. The other pipe was uh, at the far end was an awful lot easier because there was a bit of a gap and there's the uh, you know pushing a bit of uh, cardboard to the end you know up tight against the wall so that you don't jump all over the or splash the, uh, the concrete paving uh, <laughs> yes that pipe would need a wee bit of a clean but we'll, we'll do that and there's my uh, little method trying to save the, the pipe, oh, it's, uh, it's got a wee bit of a splattering there, but that's, that's actually originally 
this is a concrete that was pebble dashing and stuff that was put on before but I'll have to clean the pipe properly it does do a better job than I did I must admit it's a wee bit, wee bit, wee bit rough whatever it is so, uh, painting behind the pipe tip how to do it <laughs> don't do it the way I did it <laughs>